so many fuck boys coming on the team. I'm gonna shove it to your fucking manager's throat, you understand me? I'm gonna throw it in your fucking whip. Shit, it's never fucking easy in my life. This is not my first fucking exotic vehicle or luxurious vehicle. Freedom, Crystal, please. Freedom. Let the men's live. Find somebody who cherishes your love, not somebody who's there for your looks. Who's hunting? No one. Hold on, what happened? What is yours? <laughs> Find someone who cherishes your heart. Oh, that's what not you want. Not, you your wanted looks. that. Bro. Told it. Didn't you want that? What? You always wanted that. What? Somebody no. to cherish your heart. Fuck. Holy Fine. shit. <laughs> Hunkering me, dumbass. Move your car, man. Thank you. We're going to a Brazilian place. Goofball. <laughs> that's actually a good one for you because that's what you want. You what? want somebody to cherish your heart. And not my looks. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Looks. Yes. My looks, what? Miami is a good place for you. Okay, so update for Miami location. We are placing the lights making a unique design so we stand out from any other shop that's out here. This way, right? Don't worry about helping me, I got this. If you get bad angles with me, you're fired. And so far, we got arrows shooting all the way down to Raptors Mafia sign. On this side, we have the S's or kind of Versace style. And then on this side, we have the mini version of that. And in the back, we have the hexagon lights. So we're playing around with hexagon or S's. We're not too sure, but we kind of want a different flow. In here, we have the spotlights going up that will be directed right at the wall. So that way we have a special artist coming in and doing a crazy mural on the entire wall. In here, we just installed, well, I didn't, but glass company did. They installed the frame for what will be a glass wall into Stas's office. On this side, we have track lights going up and we'll have these awesome lights hanging down with amazing pool table. So you can come and chill, hang out, watch TV and play some pool. In here, we just finished our circle lights. So you can see we put up five different lights including um, also a track light that went up there. That will be the spotlight onto the Raptors Miami sign. Reception desk will go up there. Another waiting area, we have the Raptors Mafia LED sign going up, that'll be next. We have the TV going up here, so stay tuned for the rest. What's going on guys, Mr. Raptors is here. He's coming to Mr. Miami now, all right? Oh, fuck, bro. Fuck. You dropped it, bro. The hanger wasn't strong enough, bro. Oh, no. I fucked it, bro. Oh, man. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 bro. This I don't know. What do you think? Call Crystal, bro. Tell. Holy shit! Yo, get the camera. Get the camera. Record it. Oh my god, bro. Sixty-inch TV, fifty-five, right? Fifty-five. Halas. Look right here, bro. It's all cracked. Right here. You see that? Man, what am I gonna do now, man? Like shit, it's never fucking easy in my life, man. Brand new freaking TV, bro. Brand new freaking TV. And these lights, I already stepped on them a hundred times. Never easy in life. Okay, let's go buy a new one. Hi, I'm excited to meet you. You guys are so beautiful. Awesome. Our boys are over there. I don't know.
What's your background? Cuban. My parents are Cuban. Oh, okay. But I was born and raised in Miami. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This is home. So this is home. This is home. Oh, yeah. here again. Originally from Venezuela, my grandparents and now nah, my mom and, and they just immigrated out here. And just, you know what I mean? Miami's been home base. You know where I, you know, been able to flourish and done. You know what I mean? That's what you want. It was such a roller coaster with you know so many f boys coming on the team and trying to take us you gotta down. You got to weed them out, bro. That's, at the end of the day, that's you gotta been weed an a lot issue. When he out, talked to know? me about this, I was like, bro, babe. You're, you're so been it's just one of those. It's like I don't want to have to restart. So restart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, <laughs> we, so, yeah. So for us, when we started, no, it's getting like what business. he said, royalty and family. Yes. It's like, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, it yeah. applies a lot to. And, and all our all our locations, we are all family. We gotta do. Oh. How stable are they? Oh man, look how stable they are. You just gotta guide me in the back. It's, the back. Woo. it's gonna look nasty. What do you think? Nasty. Bro, amazing. So far, the quality of the build of the actual shop itself. I mean, if you could tell, we've, you know, we put our time into this shit, bro. This is not, you know, it's, it's really what they call earn, not just given, you know? You gotta earn this shit. And um, as you can tell, only top-notch installations that we're doing on the lighting and pretty much, bro, just getting the culture, everything ready for us to come in and just kill this freaking game straight up. Um, so again, so I had a lot, a lot of troubles with purchasing this vehicle. When I got it, the customer service wasn't the best. Uh, when I got the vehicle delivered, they made it all happen, obviously. You know, the gentleman that sold me the vehicle uh, you know, did the whole presentation, as you guys will see below. Um, it, was an, it was an incredible experience being in Miami. It was a dream already come true. And then getting my condo at the same day and then getting a Rolls Royce and a bottle of champagne as a thank you was, you know, that was something so I'm incredible. I never, I never purchased a brand new car or a uh, dealership or more less. I always got cars. Uh, oh no, actually, never mind. I did, I did Lamborghini, but that was. I came in a Lamborghini to Montreal in my Gallardo. Left my Gallardo there. Picked up an Aventador and left. And I had my Gall uh, Gallardo picked up and delivered afterwards. Um, so I'm just having a lot of car problems with this car. Um, you know. One of the things is obviously the look, but here you go, broken fucking mirror, right? And this is the intuition thing for me, which I fucking hate. It pisses me off. I got on the phone with the um, with the salesperson. He's telling me to call back right now. Let me just call, see if we can fix it. So I had that problem. Obviously, the detailing problem I had. The back door wasn't opening. The shaking of the wheels. Um, what else was there? Do you remember? This. The ecstasy wasn't working. No, this works. It's just personal time. Uh, the umbrella wasn't working. The ecstasy wasn't working. It's crooked. Control. The, huh? the remote. Oh, yeah. The key still doesn't fucking work. I got two keys. Thank God I had to beef for that. I argued for that to get two keys, but one of the keys doesn't work. It locked me out already. Um, so let me just call him real quick. We'll be having a chat with him. Um, I'll see you guys on the other side of the air. I checked the car when I was there for five minutes, you guys know this. When I came to pick up the car, yeah, okay. No, but when I got there, what I'm trying to explain to you is when I got there, I looked at the car quickly. I didn't drive the car, I didn't test drive the car, I didn't do none of that. I don't know why you're trying to get me out of, you know, out of my character right now. You're actually getting me really pissed off. What do you mean you don't know if it was broken? I had the car for two days. What do you mean you don't know if it was broken? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get to the fucking dealership. I'm gonna get to the fucking dealership. Listen to me. I'm gonna get to the fucking dealership. I'm gonna take that fucking head, visor, whatever the fuck it's called. I'm gonna shove it to your fucking manager's throat. You understand me? I'm gonna throw it in your fucking window. You understand me? I don't give a fuck you. You're not appreciating how I talk to you. I'm explaining to you. I'm trying to be a nice guy and I've been polite for the last two weeks. This shit is pissing me off. You understand me? This is not my first fucking exotic vehicle or luxurious vehicle. This is fucking nonsense, man. This is how you guys treat customers. You will fucking fix that. I know you're gonna fix it. There's no other opportunity and there's no other choices. I'm gonna throw the thing out, out the fucking window right now. 